Hello, welcome to the Monkey Show, the cybersecurity show. Are you gaming on Linux? Well, I got you. In this video, I am going to discuss how you can maximize your experience gaming on Linux, how you can take full advantage of the tool so you can be as pleasurable as possible. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's have some fun. We're going dark. So gaming on Linux has come a long way in recent years and is now viable, you know, it's a viable option for gamers, you know. Now here's everything that you need to know. There's Steam and Proton and Steam and its Proton compatibility layer have revolutionized Linux gaming. Most Windows games on Steam now work on Linux through Proton, often with little to no configuration required. You can check game compatibility on ProtonDB.com before purchasing. Now, Steam makes installing and playing games on Linux nearly as simple as on Windows. Now, there are native Linux games, like many games, especially indie titles, now offer native Linux versions. These typically provide the best performance and compatibility. You know, there are other gaming platforms as well. GOG, many DRM free games work well through Wine and Lutris. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you're being entertained and you're having fun, hit that subscribe button and the like button. Thank you, please. So, in regards to the Epic Game Stores, you know, it can be used through Heroic Games Launcher, emulators, excellent support for console emulation on Linux, performance and compatibility, Linux gaming performance is often comparable to Windows, sometimes even better. Most games work out of the box, but some may require tweaks or workarounds. Anti-cheat software remains an issue for some online games, though this is improving, okay? So I don't want you to just run away and say, ah, I'm not doing anymore. It's improving, guys. It's improving now. Hardware considerations, AMD GPUs generally provide a smoother experience due to better open source drivers. NVIDIA GPUs work well, but may require proprietary drivers. There's some of the recommended distributions. Now, for new gamers, user-friendly distributions are request, you know, recommended, okay? So uh, some of the best Linux distributions for 2022, 2023, 2024, etc., cetera, whatever, whatever year it, 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 you're watching this, is pop, you know, exclamation mark underscore OS, based on Ubuntu, designed to be a user-friendly and up, you know, is optimized for performance. It includes Steam and supports Proton for running Windows games. It features Pop Shell for auto type windows you know to organize gamers you know or gaming space it offers separate iso versions for amd and nvidia hardware you have no uh, no Bora based on fedora created by the developer of proton ge it includes many gaming optimizations and uses mesa git for bleeding edge performance good support for newer hardware like rx 7900 series gpus there's garuda linux which is arc based rolling release distribution uses the linux zen kernel optimized for desktop and gaming performance it includes garuda gamer app for easy installation of gaming software you have bazit bazite whatever you want to call that based on fedora silver blue comes with many gaming tools pre-installed like Steam, Lutris, Game Mode, etc. It uses bleeding edge components similar to Arc. It offers a Steam OS-like interface on top of KDE or Genome desktops. And then you have the Troger OS based on Ubuntu with extensive gaming optimizations, the custom kernel with low latency and higher scheduling frequency, designed specifically for gaming, not general desktop use. Other notable mentions include Ubuntu, you know, the game pack, Fedora Game Spin, and Regata OS. The best choice depends on your specific hardware, experience level, and gaming needs. Many users also report good gaming experiences with mainstream distributions like, you know, again, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Fedora, you know, you, you know, you know, the, you know, right? So, in you know, getting started, install your chosen Linux distribution, install Steam and enable Proton for all games in the settings. For non-Steam games, consider using Lutris or Wine. Check ProtonDB for specific game compatibility and tips. While not every game will work perfectly, this, you know, the vast majority of PC games are now playable on Linux, making it a viable platform for most gamers. Now, there are some common issues when running Windows games on Linux. 
and you know something that you got to be aware of right and you know one of those issues is hardware compatibility nvidia graphics cards can cause problems often related to lack of OpenGL or volcon support bleeding edge hardware may not have proper linux driver support leading to frustration for users with the latest components software dependencies is, is another one right missing 32-bit library files can prevent games from running properly lack of necessary components like you know the lib audio volcon or dxvk can cause issues windows specific libraries and apis many games rely on direct x which is windows specific and not natively available on linux right windows only libraries and apis that games depend on are not directly compatible with linux anti-cheat anti software some games with anti-cheat systems may not work on linux though this situation is improving in regards to game specific issues certain games may require specific configurations or workarounds to run properly some games might need particular versions of visual c redistributable or other windows components compatibility layer limitations while tools like wine proton and lutris have greatly improved compatibility they may not you know perfectly replicate the windows environment for all games distribution specific challenges linux diverse ecosystem of distributions can make it challenging for developers to support linux as a single platform Different package formats and system configurations across distributions can complicate game installations. DRM and store specific games, games on the Windows Store, or you know, are generally not compatible with Linux. Some games with certain types of DRM may not work properly. Now, there's a performance overhead, right? Running games through compatibility layers can sometimes result in performance loss compared to native Windows versions. Frequent updates and you know, compatibility breaking. Game updates can sometimes break compatibility, requiring users to wait for the Linux community to find new workarounds or for compatibility layer updates. While some of these issues you know, have solutions or workarounds, they can present challenges for users trying to run Windows games on Linux, especially for those new to the platform. It's worth noting that the situation is continuously improving. Many, you know, with, with many games now working well out of the box, thanks to projects like Steam's Proton. Now, here are some of the top games on Linux. Some of the top games available on Linux showcasing a mix of native titles and those that run well through compatibility layers like Proton. Let's talk about the native Linux games, right? The popular ones. You have RimWorld, a colony simulation game where players manage a group of crash landed survivors on a distant planet. You have Valheim, which is a you know Viking themed survival game featuring cooperative gameplay and procedurally generated worlds. You have Fact Factorio, which is a factory building game that emphasizes automation and resource management. You have Stardew Valley, a farming simulation RPG that allows players to cultivate crops, raise animals, and engage with the local community. You have Celeste, C E L E S T E. A, you know a platformer known for its challenging gameplay and touching narrative you have dead cells a rogue light metroidvanias inspired action platformer with procedurally generated levels into the breach a turn-based strategy game where players control mechs to defend against alien threats now here are some popular games via compatibility layers you have counter-strike 2 the latest installment in the you know iconic FPS series known for its competitive gameplay, you have Dying Light, a first-person survival horror game set in a zombie-infested world featuring parkour mechanics. Elden Ring, an action RPG that has garnered critical acclaim for its expansive world and deep lore. You know, you have Grand Theft Auto, you know, 5, an open world action adventure game that remains popular for its engaging story and multiplayer, you know, mods. Free games on Linux, you have Dota 2, a highly popular multiplayer online battle arena, MOBA game, emphasizing teamwork and strategy you have team fortress 2 a team-based shooter with various classes and game mods known for its humor and community support you have war thunder an mmo combat game featuring air land and sea battles with a vast array of vehicles zero ad an open source historical real-time strategy game that focuses on building civilizations okay so those are some of the kinds of games that if you have linux and you want to you know have an, a very pleasurable exciting fun experience you know set out to look for those games and, and let me know 
how you feel so so you know get into those games and let me know in the comment section below what you feel about those games if they were a uh, great recommendation so that is what i have for today please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button if you are entertained if you love the content if you enjoyed it, if you want more content like this please hit that subscribe button and the like button also let me know your opinions are these games good are they trash let me know in the comment section below Hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I upload new videos. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.